Hi guys, so today I will be talking about the international bestseller, The First of a New Kind of Human, may also be the last, and this book is called Genocide of One, a thriller by Kazuki Takano. I'm so sorry if I butchered his name, but just getting started on this. So actually, when I first, I'm going to just give you guys the backstory. I want you guys to see how the book looks. It just really goes into detail about how the book is and usually guys I usually don't read because I like to explain it myself but this book is kind of like a little like it's, it's a lot of dimensions to the book so I just kind of want to read the back so I can kind of explain you guys what it's about. But it just says the next generation of humans that evolve from present day man will have an enlarged cerebral no neocortex and possesses an intelligence that vastly surpasses ours. They will have the ability to perceive a fourth dimension to immediately, gra immediately grasp complex holes. They will have a sixth sense and infinitely develop moral consciousness, mental qualities that are incomprehensible to us. What sort of action will these new humans take? One thing we can say with certainty is that they will try to destroy us unless they eliminate us. They will not be able to secure their own habitat. They will view us as extremely dangerous, lower animals who spend their time killing their own species and who possesses the scientific technology to destroy the Earth's environment. Creatures with lower intelligence and moral capacity will be obliterated by those of higher intelligence. When human evolution occurs, we will soon vanish from the face of the earth. We will suffer the same fate that befell Peking Man and ne Netherlands from genocide of one. Okay, so a little backstory. Actually, I really didn't get into starting reading these types of books until my friend encourage me to expand my knowledge so I started first with there was this other book and it was by a different author but basically it was talking about it was it was going into detail about how like in 30 years like they believe another genocide is going to happen and I'm not like really a conspiracy person I try to keep my mind level-headed and in today's country and stuff like that I don't really believe in conspiracy theories I don't really believe that one day like a genocide will occur in the future but these are very interesting reads because and I'm going to tell you guys the reason why I like reading them so I've always been curious as to like how one man could control a whole genocide and this is going back to like Hitler and like everybody that he convinced that it was okay to kill other humans and do the things that he did to other humans and so I don't really read these books to believe that there's gonna be a genocide one day the reason why I do really read them is because I want to understand like what goes into all of that and like get a better understanding of the former genocides that happened not only the genocide with Hitler but also like if anybody is familiar with the Rwandan genocide though that's one of my favorite other genocides to research just because like you want to know like what even made people do that what was going through people's minds how did they occur but you guys are into these kind of books I definitely suggest this one this one is kind of I don't want to call it a conspiracy theory but I do want to call it it basically is outlining things that possibly could happen so on the back of the book okay so like I said guys on the back of the book like I read for and it was just like going into detail about like like the different events that they believe is gonna happen it outlines it that all in this book. I don't know if you guys can see right here, but it says the first of a new kind of human may also be the last. So it explained what kind of person they believe is going to take over. And it was something that I, there's some very like interesting theories in here. And that's also why I kind of like these books. So on the back, when I had read, it said that like, they believe that like we would be looked at, like humans will be looked at as a lower kind for killing each other. And like, I do believe that's true. 
just looking at our generation nowadays there's so many like gun violence incidents with all the school shootings that's been happening happening recently like we i do believe that we need to stop killing each other and i think that a lot of people may agree with me when it comes to that but these books are very just interesting and i just want to open it up to show you guys book this is just how it looks it says genocide of one it has the prologue and then the words are like really easy to read so it should not take that long to read the book it's a very easy read and i like how it like just like lists out like the different parts of the book i think that's really cool and it just says like one and I like how it doesn't like really say chapter like it gives these cool like numbers and yeah for the most part this is pretty much how the rest of the book looks and then yeah like I said it gives these like it doesn't say like chapter Two, chapter three it goes like that it says like this it just lists out it's like the internationally best-selling award winning Japanese thriller about a child who may be the future of the human race or the cause of its extinction so yeah also too something cool about this is that Okay, maybe I just think this is cool, but right here, so it like gives these like little lists throughout the book that I think is also cool as well, and I think that is super cool, especially dealing with these books because you need a little break in between a heavy read. But yeah, like I said before, this is Genocide of One by Kazuki Takino.